Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking braised mushroom with Chinese spinach. So let's start cooking. We are now going to prepare to braise the mushroom. First, heat up a pan. Add in a suitable amount of oil. We will need to infuse this oil with the taste of ginger or the fragrance of ginger. Three slices of ginger, we just put it in. Just pan fry them for a while until we brown it. Then we remove the ginger from the oil. Use medium heat for this. This will take a little bit of time, a few minutes or so. I can already smell the beautiful fragrance that's coming out from the ginger and the sides has already browned. We just do this for another minute or so before we remove the ginger slices. We will remove the ginger slices now. Now we'll add in four cloves of garlic chopped. Maintain the heat at medium. When you can start to smell the beautiful fragrance that's coming out from the garlic, you'll add in the mushroom. You don't have to brown this. Right, I'm beginning to smell the beautiful fragrance that's coming out from the garlic. So I'm adding in 10 pieces of Chinese mushroom, rehydrated as a whole. I'll just put them in. Just fry this for a while. Make sure to infuse the garlic oil and the ginger oil into the mushroom. We will need to do this step so that our mushroom will be very, very nice in taste. Still maintaining the heat at medium to medium low. We will now add in half a tablespoon of sesame oil as well as half a teaspoon of sugar. Now we add in two tablespoons of abalone sauce. If you do not have abalone sauce, you can always use oyster sauce, no problem. Mix it up well. I have with me over here 15 grams of dried scallops, which I've soaked in one cup of hot water and shred them up like this. We'll pour this in. I'm also adding in half a cup of the water that I soaked the mushroom with. And I'll add in two pieces of bay leaves. Put in a few dashes of crushed white pepper. Turn the heat up to high. We'll let this come to a boil first. When this has come to a boil, put the lid on, turn the heat down to low, and we'll simmer this for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. We're going to fry our Chinese spinach now. Heat up a pan, add in some oil, swirl the oil around. You can turn the heat up to medium high now. Add in three cloves of garlic chopped. Fry until you can smell the beautiful fragrance. Now we'll add in our Chinese spinach. This is approximately 250 grams of it. A very light seasoning. Half a teaspoon of salt. Just fry them until they are soft or wilted. This will just take a very short while. Okay, now we will remove this from heat and place them on the plate. The mushroom is almost done. Let's have a look. Smells really good. We will remove the bay leaves and we'll give this a taste. Very flavorful, very, very nice. We need to darken up the sauce. Just add in a little bit of dark soya sauce and stir it up. Just a little bit at a time. Now we'll need to thicken this up, turn the heat back to high. We'll thicken this up using cornstarch solution. Slowly pour it in and mix it to the consistency that you like. Just a little bit more. One final step, Chinese cooking wine. Shaoxing Jiu, one tablespoon of it, splash by the side. Turn off the heat and we'll pour this over our Chinese spinach. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Let's try the spinach first. Mm. With the sauce, really beautiful. Spinach, try it. Now let's Try the mushroom. Very tender and it absorbs all the beautiful flavor that we put inside there. Really good. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.